want to remove um, this outer labeling from the CD. So you just want to take like a knife or um, scissors and just kind of scratch it to get it started. Just like that. And then I want to take some, this is painter's tape, but you can just use masking tape if you want. And tape it over that area that you just scraped off and just pull it off quickly. And that should remove that tape or the, the labeling. And we just want to keep doing that for the rest of this CD until we fully remove all of the all of the labeling. I have my iPad here and I searched mandalas under images um, just off Google and I came out with came up with a bunch of mandalas and I just chose the one that I liked. I saved it to my photos and um, I'm I've had it I have it in the editing mode to get it to the size I want and I'm just going to copy or trace right onto my CD and another way to do this is you can also just print out a mandala on paper and use that to trace if you don't want to use your if you don't have a tablet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my sharpie pen to trace right over this and get the design down up to you how detailed you want to get. Um, I traced more of the major obvious lines but I didn't do all these tiny little lines, the details in here, these, these really small ones I decided to leave out. So you want to think about the colors that you want to paint your dream catcher. And I've decided I'm going to use um, various colors and I also have some clear glue here and what this is going to do is I'm going to mix some of this paint with the clear glue and the more glue I use the more translucent um, the paint will be. For instance I'm going to put a little aqua right here and this is acrylic paint and I'm going to just put some of this clear glue right here. And I'm going to get, I've got a round pointed brush and this is going to help me get some details. So I'm going to mix a little of this aqua with this clear glue and that's going to make it a translucent color. So let's just see, I'm going to test a spot out here and just see what it looks like. And what you want to do is when you test it out and paint it, you want to lift it up and hold it in the light to see what it's going to look like. So I'm really liking this color right now, so I'm going to keep this all consistent. I'm going to color the same design. You don't have to do this. You can color each one of these differently if you want. So I'm adding a little purple here. And this may be a good time to refer back to your color wheel. and to look at some colors 
that are complementary or analogous and determine what colors go well together. So I've added a few shimmer paints too. I have some, um, a gold and a, a sky shimmer. And I also have a glitter um, turquoise color that I'm gonna try too, but it's nice to throw in some shimmer paints or some glitter paints because this is gonna be in the sun and we wanna catch um, a little reflection off of this and that gold really reflects the light. What I'm doing now is I'm taking some of this shimmer aqua paint on one side and I am mixing it with this darker aqua paint on this side and I just take a little of that paint and I let them blend with each other right in the middle so it transitions from the dark to the light. What you can do is you can decide which side you like more. Um, whether it be the side that you are painting on or the other side and what you can do is you can add some more details to your dream catcher by allowing it to dry for a few minutes acrylic paint dries very quickly so I would give it about five to ten minutes and then come back and add your details so I'm coming back and just adding just some dots, really. So I have finished painting my dream catcher and I allowed plenty of time for it to dry. It's completely dry. And now what I've done is, this is optional, um, but I've got some beads here and um, you can think of other decorative items that you can add to your dream catcher like feathers or any other beads or um, whatever you like really. I have some a couple bells but I don't know if you want it to make noise. Um, and then you want to get um, some kind of string. I have this kind of fishing wire here which is nice because it's clear but you really can also use ribbon, um, yarn, or really anything else to hang um, your dream catcher. Uh, ribbon actually would be really nice. I, I decided not to use this just because it's not the color I want. I kind of wanted something. If I had like a green or a turquoise or blue, I might have used this ribbon. So I have my glue gun plugged in. I'm just allowing a little time to let it warm up. And um, I want to determine how long I want my dream catcher to hang. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of double up so it creates a loop um, so I can just hang it on a nail or something. So I don't need it super long. Um, let's see how long this is. This is probably about a little more than a foot. So yeah, this is about a foot and maybe two to three inches. So I'm gonna trim that now. And I'm 
just going to, before I knot this, I'm gonna add any beads that I want to it right now. So let's just add a few beads here. So I've strung some beads here on this loop that I've created. And what I'm going to do is I want it to hang so there's a little space between the beads and the dream catcher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot right here. That way it stops the beads from going all the way down. And then I can also tie a knot right here so the beads don't fall off. And right now it's a little bit curly, but eventually it will straighten out. Um, I am gonna tie one more knot at the end right here where I'm going to be gluing it. I think that is going to help the string stay on the dream catcher. These other three strings. And I'm gonna make these a little bit shorter. I just want them hanging just like this. Um, you can measure out and decide how far you want them hanging. I probably only want them about two to three inches from the dream catcher. So let's, I'm going to create that loop again and what you can do is if you have some beads, you can use this as a stopper. So this time I'm only going to put one string in, one side of the string in, and then put the ends together. and put this bead in, both ends in. And that way it creates this stopper at the end like that. And I'm gonna add a couple more of these beads. Make sure my uh, wire is kind of even first. And I just tied it at the end here because this is going to be hanging. I don't have to worry about it falling off, but I'm going to use this knot here and glue it to the back this way. So I'm going to make three, two more of these. So I have three all together. I've got three, three beads, three strung beads to um, hang from the bottom. And as you can see, I made the middle one um, a little bit longer than the rest. So this one is a little bit longer and these, the two on the sides match. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around and start gluing it on. And I'm gonna th think about where I'm gonna glue it. I want one hanging from here, 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 and then the top will be right there. So I'm going to glue the top down first and of course remember you want to think about what sides I mean really you can show either side which is nice you can always paint both sides um, the paint the details on both sides because you can see right now I've done the details on this side but I haven't on this side so I want this to be hanging right here. So I'm just gonna put a little glue right at this spot. And I'm just going to put my string 
string right into that. And you can add a little glue, a little more glue, just to the top of that. Make sure it's gonna stay. This is my extra long one. It's gonna be hanging right down the middle from the opposite side. And these two will be hanging this way. So I'll go ahead and add more glue right to this spot here. Put that string right into there. Maybe add just a tiny bit of glue on top of that. should dry pretty quickly but I'll just give it a few minutes um, and once it's dry you can if you need to still trim some of these strings you can